This video tutorial covers the Bikes to Go Spatial Lab, which focuses on marking environmental scanning in the Seattle, Washington area for an entrepreneurial client. This lab overview covers the importance of environmental scanning and its role in the, in the marketing planning process. It provides a summary of the Bikes to Go scenario uh, and how you access and open the Spatial Lab and the instructions that go with it. It discusses the steps in the Spatial Lab and the written answers that you will submit when you have completed it. In the marketing planning process, environmental scanning plays a very important role for several reasons. First, it helps researchers identify the opportunities and threats that are characteristic of the market environment to which they must respond. It supplies information to help in strategy development and also helps markets identify and respond to important environmental trends which affect the strategies that they are creating. Business GIS is an important tool in that process for several reasons. First, it allows markets marketers to visualize relevant market data. Uh, it provides insights into the geospatial relationships between consumer and market patterns across the marketing area, and it facilitates the analysis of several geospatial factors simultaneously so that you can see essentially how they relate to each other. In the Bikes to Go scenario, two entrepreneurs, Bill Ivers and Karen Estes, have developed the concept for a self-service bike rental and service kiosk that they think can be deployed in parks and recreational areas and consumers can use on their own without having to staff the facilities. So they want to identify an urban area to conduct a test market for this concept and to do so they need a city and state with high levels of recreational biking, an area that has several parks and recreations available, recreational areas available that they can place the kiosk and that is located in a temperate climate area for year-round biking. And they've hired you as the business GIS consultant to help them with that process. So to get to the spatial lab and perform those steps, you will open the map and select only the click in the map for spatial lab instructions layer. You will then click inside the city of Seattle on the map to open a pop-up and use double click or right click and save procedure to download that spatial lab, which you can then open in Microsoft Word. Here's what that map looks like and the pop-up that will allow you to do that. Notice that you also have a link here to the video that you're now watching to give you the overview that we're providing here. Once you have the Spatial Lab up, it will walk you through the following steps. It will explore the distribution of target market households and recreational equipment purchases in the Seattle area. It will identify areas which offer high per levels of purchases and high numbers of target market households. These will be the focus of your marketing strategy. You will compare the locations of parks and competing bike shops to those high, highly attractive targeted areas and you'll identify attractive locations for the kiosks. And based on this information, you'll recommend whether or not to use the Seattle area as a test market. So let's take a look real quickly at the Spatial Lab itself and how you go through that process. So here's what the Spatial Lab looks for after you get it up. It provides the information that we have just summarized on the scenario for Bikes to Go and gives you a little bit more background of the organization. It describes the data that we're going to be using and the types of activities that you'll be doing and performing uh, to evaluate the Seattle area as a test market for this concept. Notice that you have a very specific definition of the target market, 25 to 40 year olds with income between 25 and 50,000, and you'll be looking for concentrations uh, of those consumers in the Seattle area. But why Seattle? Uh, you'll walk through the process of determining where the best opportunities are for a test market for this product uh, by looking first at a map of the United States which shows you where concentrations of recreational bike riding are uh, and the ones that have the, the climactic conditions that you're interested in are concentrated in the uh, northwestern United States and you can see here more specifically in the Seattle area the concentration of high levels of bike riding, recreational bike riding among the public. So now, with the map open, you have a chance to take a look at the, uh, the demographics which underlie some of the patterns that you have seen. In this particular case, it tells you how to work with the tools and the toolbars available to you in the ArcGIS.com interface, how to turn on and off layers to, so that you can see the values for the number of target market households by census tract and block group, and also recreational equipment purchases by block group in the area. You'll then use this information to identify very attractive areas within the Seattle market for the location of kiosks. And so you'll, you'll zoom in on the map 
to focus on those block groups which have above average numbers of people in the target market and above average levels of expenditure on recreational equipment. Uh, and they will be highlighted as you can see here in gold. You will add business information to that in the form of parks that are in this area as well as the bike shops that are near, in, in near those parks. So what you're looking for is areas that are near concentrations of attractive customers that are also in the vicinity of parks but do not have competing bike shops uh, in the region of service near the, near the park. Uh, as you identify those, you will complete a list of as many addresses or general addresses as you can find. If there are at least 10 such addresses, then you will use, recommend that this be used as a test market uh, for this concept. So uh, you will complete this portion of the report which identifies addresses that you've come up with uh, and you will uh, explain whether or not there are 10 of those that are meet the, the criteria for using the Seattle area as a target market. Uh, you can then cut and paste this portion of the, of, of the special lab uh, and submit it as your team project report. So, uh, as a submission, you will submit a report which includes the addresses of the attractive potential locations that you've identified in the table or in the list. Uh, you'll use the maps to get this information, uh, and then you will, on the basis of that, what you've discovered, you will assess the value of Seattle as a test market for the concept, and you will submit the report to your instructor. Uh, and that completes your work in the Bikes to Go Special Lab.